In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CaOH2, calcium hydroxide. Calcium is a metal, and then oxygen and hydrogen, those are nonmetals. In fact, they're a group of nonmetals called a polyatomic ion. It's the hydroxide ion. Because calcium is a metal, and then we have these nonmetals, that makes it an ionic compound, and the metal is going to transfer valence electrons to the nonmetals. So we look up calcium on the periodic table. It's in group 2, and it has a 2 plus charge. And we can look up the hydroxide ion on a table of common polyatomic ions. It has a 1 minus charge. Since we have two of them, two times that one minus, that's minus two, and that'll balance out this two plus. It's a neutral compound. So we'll write calcium, and then we'll put OH on either side. We said the calcium, it lost valence electrons. In fact, it lost two valence electrons, and electrons are negative. That makes it positive. So one went to this hydroxide, the other one went to this hydroxide. So the calciums are two plus, and we have the minus on the hydroxide. Let's replace the hydroxide ion, the OH- minus here, with the Lewis structure for OH-. minus. By convention, we put brackets around this negative ion. Because we have this 2 plus and then this minus here and here, those are attracted, and that's what forms the ionic bond in calcium hydroxide. Do note that what we've drawn is what's called a formula unit. It's one part of a crystal. The crystal's made up of a bunch of formula units in a repeating pattern. This is useful to see how the electrons have been transferred in the ionic compound. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CaOH2 calcium hydroxide, and thanks for watching.